What's going on guys, Kai here, Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your computer screen. This could be on a uh, desktop, a laptop, Mac, PC, doesn't matter. However, um, this one that I'm going to be showing you today is definitely more tuned for the P or for the Mac, sorry. However, there I'll show you another se separate application that you can use on the PC as well. Now, the video that I'm recording this currently with is called ScreenFlow. This is the one that's for Mac and PC. You can also get this on the PC. Um, torrent it. It is. It does cost um, a fair amount. However, if you can torrent it, it's very, very easy to torrent, and it works pretty much the same way. Now, this is the. You can see that the quality is not amazing. It's not great. You can tweak the settings a bit to make it a little bit better. I haven't really messed with it too much. I'm just showing you guys the basis of how it looks without tweaking any settings, although you can, so keep that in mind. However, I think that the second application, the one that's pretty much primarily just for Mac, is actually the better one, and believe it or not, it's called QuickTime Player. Now, we all know this is what you use to open up pretty much any video that ends in .mov, or .move, mov, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> anyway, it ends in .mov. This is what you open up any video with, uh, YouTube videos that you've downloaded, um, videos you've made yourself, iMovie videos, and all that great stuff. Now, if you click on a QuickTime player, what a lot of people don't know is there's actually an option built in to record your computer screen. Now, if you see here, if you go up to the QuickTime player option bar at the very top, you can see if you click file, there's new movie recording, new audio recording, and new screen recording. Now, believe it or not, you can actually make movies and audio recordings with this, but the one that we're gonna be focused on today is the screen recording. Now, you'll see if I click screen recording, it'll pop up this little bar right here. You'll see it's registering my voice. And then to edit the options of this, you can actually click here, and you'll see the microphone here, which you can choose, it's either the built-in, the one that's built in the computer, which is, it's okay, but it's not great. Obviously, if you have an external one, that's way better. As I do, I have the Yeti stereo microphone right here, which is the audio you're currently hearing. Um, actually, leave a comment. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a video showing you the Yeti stereo microphone, maybe a review or something of the sort, because it is very, very nice audio, and I definitely think it's really, really good for the price. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. But after the, other than that, you can choose the quality, medium or high. I recommend high, as that puts it in 1080p. Um, options, you can show mouse clicks in your recording, so that if, when you're recording, you click on something and you want it to highlight that, then it'll automatically have a little circle pop up around it. You can choose where you want to save it to, I just chose desktop, you can choose wherever you want, and those are pretty much the options for it. Other than that, you just hit start, and then it takes a couple seconds, there's a little delay, and then in the bottom left hand corner right here, you'll see the second start counting down, and then that's when you start going. Now what's also really nice about this is this actually stays in the video, which is, or stays in while you're recording, this is up here, but it actually edits it out of the final recording, which is really, really cool, and I really enjoy about this uh, this product. And, I mean, the best part about it is really that it's free. It comes built in with pretty much every single Mac, unless you have some really, really old versions, um, but pretty much all the new Macs will have it built in. I'm sure yours has it, just search it in the top bar if you haven't heard of it, QuickTime. Quick time, it'll, it'll probably be there. So it's pretty much how you record your computer screen if you want to do it for a tutorial like I do or any other reason. Other than that, it's just a pretty good device. So other than that, that's it. This one is called ScreenFlow. Uh, don't worry about the copy part. It's just called ScreenFlow. Search it um, on Google and you should find it. And then the one for Mac is called QuickTime, which I'm sure pretty much all of you guys know. So than that, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. And as always, see you guys later.